All right, you guys. Hey, it's time for groundwater and chemical weathering. This is where uh, some really cool things happen, and it's because of, of carbonation, right? So what happens, we learned earlier, is that um, groundwater, if it's highly carbonated, it's acidic, and it causes um, the decomposition of limestone. And so today what I'm going to do is talk about how caverns and sinkholes form and then understand karst topography. And so uh, the very first thing, uh, how many of you guys uh, have water softeners at your house? Most of you probably do because we live in an area that is predominantly limestone, right? So Really, our bedrock is limestone, and if that's the case, then it ha has a lot of lime in the water. Basically, it's calcium carbonate, and it's that white scale that you see on my fish tanks all the time, which I fight. Uh, you might see it on your bath tank tubs. You might see it in your sink, and, and every once in a while, periodically, you probably have to clean your shower heads or your, or your faucet heads because they build up of lime, and so... Um, what it is, is if you have hard water, which we have extremely hard water, uh, that means that it's highly uh, full of minerals. And the minerals we're talking about is calcium carbonate um, and, and other items. Soft water, probably don't have that uh, big of a problem with it. Soft water basically means that you don't have minerals. And what, what is interesting about uh, hard water, hard water, if you're taking a shower, it's difficult to build up suds. Soft water, it's difficult to get rid of suds. And so it's totally opposite of each other. Soft water feels like it's slimy on your skin a little bit. A hard water, uh, um, you just you can't build up a lather. And so what happens with chemical weathering? We have uh, caverns form. And a cavern is basically an area that is the limestone has been dissolved uh, due to carbonic acid, and you, you form a cave. Now, the second part to this is pretty simple. When you have a cave and the top comes out of it, it forms a sinkhole. Um, and so what I want to do is show you some sinkholes. I uh, uh, Hit the lights for me. No, you're good. That was a Sydney, uh, a, a Sydney cameo appearance there for you guys who are listening at home. Um, so... Um, basically, uh, what happens is, is this, if, uh, you have a sinkhole, I remember where I put it now, here we are, um, a sinkhole, it's a cavern that the top fell out of. Now, uh, not too long ago, my family decided that we were going to stay in, uh, in Orlando, Florida. We actually stayed uh, uh, north of Orlando in a little town and uh, unbeknownst to us our resort had a sinkhole and it swallowed one of the condominium complexes that we were next to now um, it didn't affect us everybody got out alive but sinkholes are pretty pretty interesting and so what I want to do is uh, show you some sinkholes and describe them to you, and then we'll go from there. I got it. So what has happened is a sinkhole was created, and then all of a sudden they knew that something was going on. It just basically opened up beneath this um, this lake in Louisiana, and it swallowed the grove of trees. This one makes me cry. Um, yeah, this I cry when I see this. This is the Corvette. National Museum, and um, yeah, this millions and millions and millions of dollars 
Um, these are all one-of-a-kind Corvettes. And let me just say this right now. Uh, they are able to... Um, they were able to get a number of them out. A number of them they weren't. That's the Blue Devil right there. That's a 1,000 horsepower Corvette. Stupid, stupid, terribly fast. Um, but they didn't know. Oh, I'm crying right now. They didn't know that they had built on top of a, of a cave. Um, this is not good. This is a sinkhole that developed underneath. Ouch. Yeah, not good. And again, they didn't realize. Yeah, he's pointing at it. He's like, this is where it's at. Um, and so to get the people out, uh, yeah, not good. Uh, nobody died. They got them out. This is a bad one, Guatemala. Uh, if you look. See, I'd hate to be the one that's in apartment 2C, right? Because it's gone. An entire block. And it's not like this doesn't happen, right? So they'll be driving down the road and all of a sudden it opens up like them people that you just saw. Oh, let's go over to the edge and see what we can see. I'm sure you'll be all right, Billy. Not good. And basically what happens is it, it, it happens in a couple-step process. It eats away at the, the roof, and it collapses. Boom. See ya. Hope you didn't go down there. This is a bad one. Uh, really, people aren't sleep a little town, plowing a little snow. Life's good. Everybody's happy. Oh, no. Right? Uh, and so, happens all the time. Uh, so, this is not my resort complex. Uh, I'll show you my resort complex. That's essentially what happened. Uh, my resort complex was this one, and I want to make sure we have enough time. At a vacation resort near Orlando, Florida, in the middle of the night, their building was being swallowed by a sinkhole. They barely escaped. ABC Steve Osinsami tells us this may not be over. Dozens of families here on their sunny vacations were just we were on our two night. doors down. A hundred foot sinkhole started to swallow their villa with them and their belongings in it. And I kept hearing the building cracking as I was going back and forth and I could see things falling from the ceiling and I actually watched the floor split open at the time. Authorities and eyewitnesses outside Orlando raced to the collapsing buildings, capturing this incredible video and screaming for residents to get out now. <laughs> I know this may happen in Florida, but I'm from Atlanta, and the ground has just never been sucked from up under our feet. <laughs> it looks like the ground opened up and ate this building. There's a stairwell there leading to nowhere, like a tornado came through and punched a hole in the ground. Rusty Glover and her family saw their floors buckling, then tried to escape, but the doors were stuck and wouldn't open. A couple with a baby had to break a window to get out. We just started running out and throwing our stuff over the balconies. It was just crazy. Florida is sinkhole central, and here's why. Much of the state sits on porous limestone covered in a thick layer of clay. Over time, water eats away at the stone, and then heavy rains help push the clay into the rock. Authorities say there aren't more sinkholes, just more people around to notice them. This is a photo of where the latest sinkhole opened up, and this is what the area has become today. We have a dry season, and then the rains come on in about middle of June. And about that time, you see the sinkhole activity pick up. Everyone got out of this building alive, but lost everything they left behind. Yeah, that was a bad deal. So, um, sinkholes, pretty simple. Uh, 
The next one I want to talk about, the difference between stalactites and stalagmites. Tites are on top. Mites are on the floor. Just as simple as what's happening there. Calcium carbonate uh, being dissolved by carbonic acid. As the water uh, evaporates, it leaves behind stalagmites, stalactites, uh, uh, natural curtains. I'll talk about drawbridge or a natural bridge. Basically, a natural bridge is a cave that has an open, opening on both sides. And so it creates a natural bridge. Here are stalactites and stalagmites being lit up by uh, by images, um, lights. They're not they're not naturally this color, but you see the tights on the top and the mites on the bottom. Um, here's the evolution of a sinkhole. Right, so you have a hole that's been eaten away, and basically what happens is if you build on top of it, mm, not a good thing. See ya, Mr. Semi. Here's a sinkhole. Uh, Basically, what's happened is everything that was there before uh, fell down into the hole. Tights on top, mites on the bottom. Here's a natural bridge, right? So over here is, used to be an entire cave, but both sides collapsed, uh, and people walk across those. Karst topography is pretty simple. Um, basically, it's it's uh, carbonation, carbonization, uh, weathering the groundwater, and basically it just makes it look like uh, acid had just weathered it away and so this used to be flat and it just oozed away right straight down so these hills are not from vertical uplift this is dissolving of limestone all right uh, so that concludes where we're at and uh, appreciate everybody I uh, hope you have a great day